Hey friends! Last week, I started this new video series off by taking a look at the retro concepts in K-pop that draw inspiration from the 1920s to the 1950s musically. As you all know, K-pop is filled with sounds that draw upon musical styles from all over the world and across many decades. The genre does an amazing job at taking inspiration from any corner of the world and history and applying it in a musical production that works in today's modern music. And so, for part two in this series, we'll be going over the 1960s to the 70s in music before we make it all the way to the 21st century later. It's worth noting that the songs featured in these videos are solely not just the definitive examples, as there's so many more to include. In addition, the songs discussed within each decade are done in a production filled with musical styles that often borrow heavily on not just one, but several. And some of those styles borrowed from styles before. You'll see as I explain the decades in this video, and so with that, let's get started with part two in this video series with the 1960s. The 1960s exploded onto the scene as baby boomers became the top demographic. The increasingly diverse population of the U.S. desired a wide selection of music, and blues and jazz based R&B, gospel, and rock saw a wave of popularity. One of the first to arrive was rock and roll, and California's surf style was a part of that. Part Middle Eastern and Mexican music styles with the distorted spring reverb and rapid guitar work, surf music morphed into a popular sound that seems to embody beach partying. The new synthesized instrumentation became the basis for the 1980s new wave and synth pop. But in the 1960s and 70s, it was usually attached to R&B and Motown as a supporting sound. Motown musicians used the steady, soulful rhythms of gospel, blues, and jazz to create a uniquely American sound. The following are the K-pop songs that follow the sounds predominantly found in the 1960s. The 1970s saw a further refinement of the classic rock sound, and funk provided a steady, syncopated rhythm for discotheque nightclubs or discos as it became known. The strong downbeat and rich extended chords are great for dancing, but also strong choreography like in today's K-pop acts. Mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
was the disco music itself that became the iconic music of the era, blending R&B, jazz, rock, and pop elements to create the iconic sound. It's vibrant, catchy, and versatile for all types of songs, and became the go-to pop sound for 70s bands around the world, and one that K-pop producers still use again and again. And again. I hope you enjoyed the second video in this retro K-pop video series. In the next video, we'll be taking a look at the 1980s and 90s. Stay tuned for that next. Until then, please be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons for me. I appreciate you for stopping by. Please check out many more of my videos on all things K-pop, and I'll see you next time.